Hey guys, listen, this is the most exciting part. I'm right now here at Cam Raleigh. This is one of the pre-events to Dreamville where fans can come and really experience J. Cole's life. I'm here at just one of the setups, the writing love letters to J. Cole. This is a replica of what his bedroom might have been like and the inspiration he had for music, but a lot of other parts of the city have been preparing as well. All week long, crews at the park have been working hard to assemble each stage, the Ferris wheel and other attractions on the big field. But local businesses have also been gearing up. Earlier this week, we learned that last year's festival brought in $145 million. Tourism officials expect another 100,000 people from all over the world to come back to the Oak City. And you don't have to wait until tomorrow to get in on the Dreamville festivities. Happening right now is the yoga session co-led by Olu and Earth Gang, who's performing tomorrow. Then starting at 11 a.m. is the Dreamville public access at Cam Raleigh. That goes on all day. The Dreamville apparel pop-up opens at 12 and the free block party starts at 1 o'clock and goes until 8 tonight. Yeah, if you were watching at 10 o'clock, you saw me there with the yoga session. I know that has wrapped up since then, but here at Cam Raleigh, that's where we're underway. There's a panel going on right now, but you can really get and immerse yourself into J. Cole's legacy and his life. They have so many different things. This is from his For Your Eyes Only tour, one of his outfits that he had on. Also over here, it's a real live recording booth where you can come in and record yourself, J. Cole's songs, whatever you'd like, play it back for all your friends to hear. And this might be one of my favorite parts here. It's just a huge description here of many of his many albums there's other albums in here as well it's just this is really a love letter to j cole a love letter to his fans and a really great experience and if you are tuned in you might know that there is another album he just dropped that may make its way in the wall one day huh back to you guys <laughs> That is super right. cool. I love that. Oh, I love goodness. seeing his room because it looked kind of familiar, seeing all those posters yeah. up on the wall. It's a little taste of Forest Hills yeah. Drive. And the, and the Allen Iverson jersey. Mm -hmm. Who didn't have that right. in the 90s? <laughs> My goodness. I thought we were going to see you in the studio spitting some bars, Tamara. Maybe you'll You know you got some rhymes. No. <laughs> we're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. Tam, thanks.